Hi, I'm Michael Patterson from Eye Centers of Tennessee. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming today. You're gonna to learn through these video surgical techniques and innovative technologies that you and your staff will be able to utilize to further patient care. Remember at the end of the video to subscribe down here at the bottom so that you can find further content in the future. Hello, this is Michael Patterson from Eye Centers of Tennessee. I just wanna show you our technique at Eye Centers for when we do cataract surgery combined with a hook dual blade as well as ECP. It's just our standard normal by manual incision, we go straight in after we've made the capsular rexus and hydrodissected to a phaco chop technique. Try not to have to rebury, we just leave the phaco tip right at the base of the nucleus and you can just turn the lens with the phaco tip and quite easily re-aspirate. This reduces your effective phaco time quite dramatically by not having to do any more phaco other than necessary. This is not too dense of a lens, but probably two plus NS, two and a half plus NS, and you can see the Stellaris unit venturi type fluidics is easily able to um, disassemble the lens and aspirate it quite quickly with phaco emulsification. This is in real time, a non-edited phaco here. I typically just do a four quadrant chop, sometimes a six quadrant chop. After I've done the phaco, just do a little IA for what's remaining. And we're using a um, metal eye tip instead of the polymer and bubbles always come. We switch over from IA to placing the lens. This is a LI61AO soft port lens. It has a nice injector system where you can get it straight in the bag. Then you need to fill the angle with some viscoelastic to deepen that and put some on the top part of the eye. You'll see the cohook dual blade here. I'm going to go and engage the trabecular meshwork here. And Unfortunately, you'll just see one side of this as when I reversed the other side to do the other two to three clock hours, it was unable to be seen. Just putting some viscoelastic underneath the iris to elevate the iris to be prepared for ECP. And you'll see here on this split screen, the early part you can't see the um, ECP probe, but you can see here watching the ciliary body processes that will slowly shrink and appear out of focus at times, and that's normal because somebody's um, fixing the screen as you go across. You see here I start all the way superiorly. I try to treat about 270 degrees and you'll see how the sewing processes are just shrinking up nicely. You don't have to over treat them however you can occasionally accidentally um, pop one of the ciliary processes and the patient will let you know when that happens. You'll see here just continuing to go across and just keep torquing around ensuring that you're on top of the capsule not tearing any zonules. That'll be close to the end there. You'll just keep getting those processes to curl up. And once you finish that, it'll come out of the eye and take the viscoelastic out with the eye tip. And I always again go under the eye well just to get any remaining viscoelastic out. After you've sufficiently removed all the viscoelastic from underneath the IOL, just get the remaining viscoelastic in the angle and then hydrate your wound. You get good wound sealant, which is typically pretty easy without a extra sealant. You'll see here with the wet cells. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope this helps you for anyone wanting to do the cahook as well as ECP.